Hi, I'm Dr. Mike, and we are here at Brookfield Zoo, and I'm joined by Chris, one of our senior animal care specialists, and Keenak, one of our gray seals. Keenak's going to say hi to everybody. Um, Keenak is one of many animals here at the zoo that's a participant in our Share the Care uh, program. So about 100 different species here at the zoo that you can adopt and help provide the care for. And we thought that we would uh, take a little bit of time today to uh, talk about Keenak. How old is he? So Keenak is now 22 years old, but he was found off the coast of Love Ladies, New Jersey, when he was only estimated to be around three to four months old. He was actually found with a broken jaw, which led to an infection, which you can see now is perfectly healed, but he did lose a lot of his teeth on his lower jaw. And so with that injury to his mouth there, it really made him non-releasable. So he wouldn't have been able to to hunt effectively exactly. um, to be able to survive. So he was placed uh, in his uh, forever home here at Brookfield yeah. Zoo um, with our wonderful animal care staff. And he is just a wonderful <laughs> animal. He's about 500 pounds, Good, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, so gray seals are one of the larger seals. And yeah. what are some of the differences uh, between seals and sea lions? So we have California sea lions and gray seals here at Brookfield Zoo over at Pinniped Point. And there's a couple of main differences that you can use to tell the difference. So one of those differences is their front flippers. Gray seals here have these nice short front flippers with these big nails on them. You'll see our California sea lions have long front flippers with no nails. Another way to tell the difference between the two species is looking at their ears. So gray seals and other seals, known as true seals, have just this tiny little hole that you can see right here whereas our sea lions have really cute little external ear flaps. And one more way to tell the difference between seals and sea lions is the way that they move. So Keenak here, you can see, does a nice little caterpillar scooch on deck, whereas our sea lions can rotate their hind flippers and move more like a dog would. Here at Brookfield Zoo, we work with both seals and sea lions from a conservation standpoint. So gray seals like Keenak are found in the North Atlantic and uh, we support conservation programs for these animals. And then we've also got a great program in South America where we work with South American sea lions and South American fur seals. And all of these marine mammals face very similar threats right now within the world. So we see a lot of entanglement issues, a lot of bycatch with fisheries, uh, still a lot of illegal hunting that goes on for these different types of animals. And then one of the biggest things is just uh, environmental change, global warming, uh, melting of the areas where these animals would normally haul out um, in the southern hemisphere, warming of water that takes away some of the prey species that they depend upon. And then obviously just release the chemicals into the environment and toxin exposure, oil spills, all of those different things. So we see a lot of very similar threats uh, affecting all of the marine mammals um, around the world. One of the things that um, you'll notice here with Keenak is he's sort of an endless supply of uh, fish here yeah. that he's thoroughly enjoying. Yeah. We're also some sugar-free jello is something that they really like the texture and yeah. feel of and like, find to be kind of a special treat. Yeah. Keenak, um, he's got a lot of different behaviors that you mm -hmm. all have taught and many of those um, are, are aimed at taking good care of him and providing yes. behaviors that are able to help provide his medical care so some of those behaviors ultrasound training so we can evaluate internal organs uh, you've got him trained for blood collection so he'll voluntarily hold for for blood collection yeah can you show a couple absolutely of those? let's do it awesome Keenak, check so this is his ultrasound position, and he's really great if we want to come on in, and you can go ahead and rub his belly. And I would have an ultrasound probe here in my hand that we're able to take a look at all the different organs inside his body to make sure he's in good health. So their flippers are very similar to our hands or our feet. They've got the same bone structure that we would have in our own hands, and there's vessels that run along the sides of those, which are a great place to collect a blood sample. And Keenak's so good at this, he'll hold still and allow our staff to insert a little needle there, grab a blood sample. We can check all of his uh, different health parameters off of that and uh, really makes it a very uh, easy way for us to keep an eye on the health of these animals. Um, so Chris, with the training that you do with these animals, it's very similar to how we would train a dog at home in some regard. It's all positive yeah. reinforcement. It's giving the the food reward when they do the behavior you want and, and not giving that when they don't, never any sort of negative reinforcement or, or anything like that. Very true. Yeah, everything we do um, is positive reinforcement and exactly like you said, if he 
chooses not to do it, then that's his choice and we'll just move on and do something else that hopefully he wants to participate in. So one more question before we end. Can I start my day with a seal kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Keenak. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> we hope to see all of you out here at Brookfield Zoo sometime this summer and uh, look forward to spending some time with all of you. Thanks. <laughs>